place where the land we see There is a home so sweet The house of an artist With something to show us Painting pictures with brush and pen Pop on the paper in a book That's so beautiful it is a joy to read Because the stories we find In this book of wonders Are some of the most amazing you will hear For the stories were inspired Over the ages By God's Holy Spirit Who guided its writers long ago John is the friar's name, and you will find with him Three friends so special, having fun all together Renato, Leopold and Tim, who want to share with you All the good stories that the friar John would tell And if you like, you can join these four friends And maybe stay for a while, and together we will play Or perhaps you would like to join in the chorus No need to worry if they sing a little out of tune If you prefer to play with the smallest gun to a cave, and you can enter too. So come, we are waiting in this holy place. We're really sure that you want to hear the stories of Fry John. The Lost Sheep. Hello, oh, Renata. Hello. Look, Father John, a bird. A bird? Yes, I had to come through the park and I had to save a little bird from being eaten by a cat. A cat? The poor little oh, thing. It's frozen oh. to death. Oh, oh dear. it flew away. Oh, I hope it doesn't go anywhere near that cat. A cat, Renata? Yes, a big ugly old cat. Oh, that's so scary. Don't be scared. That cat won't come round here. He's not coming. That's right, Renata. You see, Tim? What a relief! What are you painting today? Is it the parable of the lost sheep? That's right, Renata. Oh, I love parables, especially the one about the lost sheep. I could listen to it a thousand times. Uh, and you want me to tell it to you again? Yes, <laughs> but I want to see the pictures too. I can't see them because the book is too high. No problem. That's odd. <laughs> well, go down. Father John, you're squashing Timothy. <gasps> oh, I'm sorry, Timothy, I didn't see you. But what are you doing under there? I was making my bed, but you've just ruined it. Am I so small and insignificant that you can't even see me? It's not that, Timothy. It's just you didn't tell me you were going to move in under my book. You can't live there. Don't you see? I have to raise and lower the book to work. But I like this spot. Don't worry, Timothy. We'll find you another place. But first, I'm going to tell you a parable. A parable? Oh, I love parables. You're going to tell us a parable. Yes, Leopold, I'm going to tell you a parable. Yeah. OK, let's listen to it now. N nah. A long, long time ago, when the skies were clear and blue and flocks of sheep roamed the fields in search of fresh green grass, there was a shepherd who had a hundred sheep In the morning, he led them over mountains and hills to the very best meadows. In the evening, when the sheep had eaten their fill, he led them back to the fold where they could sleep peacefully, safe from harm. He was a good shepherd and he loved his sheep. The sheep loved him too, but one of them was very disobedient. She was always looking for a chance to wander off on her own. She thought she knew where to find even better pastures than the one the shepherds had brought them to. She'd seen some grass that looked very green. Show us this delicious grass. Why don't I eat some? Snowy. Snowy. Oh. Come here. Where are you? No. Snowy. Yes, I'm coming. Oh. Oh. Mm. 
Trubisky shivered. And so, Snowy reluctantly did as she was told and went back to the flock. The shepherd scolded her, but very gently. Snowy, you can't wander off on your own. It's very dangerous. What would I do if something happened to you? Hey, when are you going to listen to me? Snowy followed the shepherd, thinking about the luscious grass she'd been about to eat. Meanwhile, the sly old wolf was setting another trap. Ha <sighs> ha <sighs> now these plastic plants have to look really real, huh? Ha ha ha! Now for the finishing touch. What do you think? Fantastic. Ha 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 ha. Ha ha. Wearing his disguise, the wolf crept up on the little sheep, determined to separate her from the flock. And when he was close enough... Little sheep. Oh, who's that? It's us, the tasty plants. Tasty plants? Wow, this is great. They followed me. Can I eat you? Yes, you can eat us whenever you want. Come on, follow us. Mm, I like to, but I have to stay with the shepherd. Oh, pretty little sheep, you don't have to stay with that boring old shepherd. Boring? The shepherd isn't boring. He takes us to eat grass and he loves us very much. He loves you. If he loved you, he'd let you go and eat whatever you liked. But no, he's always calling you back. He wants to keep you locked up in the fold. He won't give you your freedom. That's true. Hmm. Hey, what's freedom? Don't you know what freedom is? Freedom means doing what you want, when you want, where you want and how you want. Freedom means doing whatever you feel like. <gasps> I like the sound of that. I want to be free. I want to eat the tastiest plants. I want to do whatever I feel like. Can I? Can I? Come with me and eat all the plants you <laughs> want. Oh, okay. And so the crafty old wolf began to lead Snowy away from the shepherd. Meanwhile, the rest of the flock had come back to the fold and the shepherd was counting his sheep. Powder Puff, Curly Locks, Fluffy Tail, Martha Moss, Floppy Ears and... Snowy? Where's Snowy? She hasn't come back to the fold. Has anyone seen Snowy? Snowy! Oh no! Where are you? Snowy! Where are you? I saw her. She went that way, following some funny plants that were walking in front of her. But plants can't walk. The wolf is behind this. I'm going to bring her back. Stay here until I return. What? You're going to leave all 99 of us for one naughty sheep? Oi, don't be so quick to judge her and get inside the fold. Well... If the wolf eats her up, it's all she deserves. She's a bad sheep. Hm. And I told you not to judge her. And don't open this gate for anyone. The shepherd shut the gate and hurried off to look for the little sheep. The wolf had led her a long way from the fold. When all of a sudden, little Snowy had a thought. How come you can walk? Plants don't usually walk around. It's because we're free plants. Ah, of course. You're free plants. I forgot about that. Can I eat you now? Are we a long way from the shepherd? Yes, we're miles away. In that case, it's time to eat. Come on, take a bite. Go ahead. That's because they are plastic. Ha 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 ha! Come here! I'm going to eat you up! Let her 
her go. Let her go. Ah. Ah. Take that and that, you bad animal. How dare you? That's my hand. You sheep eater. You lamb knacker. Take that and that and that. to be safe and sound in the shepherd's arms. And as for the wolf, do you know what happened to the wolf? Well, the wolf is still running as fast as his legs can carry him after the lesson the shepherd taught him. The shepherd carried the little sheep all the way back to the fold on his shoulders. He had found her just in time and he was very happy even though the wolf had bitten him. The sheep was very grateful, and never again would she doubt that her shepherd was a good shepherd. That evening, the shepherd threw a party the likes of which the sheep had never seen before, and they all danced together until late in the night. All their neighbors and all their friends were invited, and the crickets and the frogs, and all the animals in the forest sang along. That night, even the moonlight seemed brighter and happier than ever. Ah! Well, did you like the parable? Yes! And do you know what Jesus meant to teach us uh, with this story? Uh, 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 no. no. Didn't you understand uh, it at all? No. You, Timothy? I understood it. The wolf almost ate the sheep. But the shepherd saved her. Yes, because he's a good shepherd. And the wolf is bad. Yes, very bad. And he gave her a big hug and kissed her. Okay, let me explain. Who does the shepherd represent? Uh, we um, don't know. We don't know. The shepherd is very good. Oh. He loves all his sheep. Oh. He knows them all by their name and he doesn't want any of them to get lost. And if any of them were lost, he'd give his life to save them. Who does that remind you of? Uh, uh, we don't know. You don't know anyone like that? No. You want a clue? Yes. It starts with J. Uh, Jeremy. Uh, <laughs> uh, Janice. Uh, Jennifer. Uh, Jeffrey. Uh, Jim. Uh, um... Jesus! That's right. Jesus. Jesus knows us and loves us and doesn't want any of us to get lost. And if we ever do get lost... He comes and finds us, and when he finds us, he's really happy. Oh! And the sheep. Who are the sheep? The ones with curly wool that go, bah! <laughs> I mean, who do the sheep represent? Oh, I don't know. No. They are know. us. The sheep represent us. Oh, oh the sheep, the are, sheep us. are us. Yeah. And the lost sheep are us when we behave badly and we don't pay attention to our shepherd. And the shepherd comes and saves he us. He saves us and he throws a big party because we uh, come back. Really? Wow, of a course. Party. Wow. There's a wonderful celebration in heaven whenever somebody who's been behaving badly asks for forgiveness and decides to try and be good. Wow. Oh, and uh, what's the party like? Well, I suppose it's like any other wow. party with music, wow. dancing, mm. balloons mm. and streamers, confetti, fireworks. Oh, wow. how exciting. Look. There must be a party in heaven right now because confetti is falling from the sky. Confetti? confetti? Oh, oh, it's snowing, it's snowing. See, it's confetti. It's so pretty. Oh, I'm so sorry, Tim. I didn't see you there. Oh, this is the second time that someone didn't see me. Nobody loves me and I'm no use to anyone. Don't say that, Timothy. It's not true. We all love you very oh, much. Oh, yes, but Tim, we love you, we love you very lots. much. So, Tim, to make you feel better, I'm going to let you open the oh, music yeah, box. Yeah, get over the music box. Oh, it's a bit heavy. It's a bit too heavy. Oh, oh, oh come on, oh, Tim. Leopold. Let me do it. Come on, let me see. Oh, it's a shepherd. What?
not a good shepherd. And what a bad wolf! Look how he's biting the shepherd's staff! And what a beautiful sheep! There was a shepherd and his sheep He loved them everyone He cared for them in winter snow and summer sun A hundred sheep the shepherd had To you they'd look the same But he could tell them all apart by name Oh yeah wow. Sing along with me now wow. Count them out and count them in At night when they came home He'd never let them wander off on their own Don't go wandering very far, he'd say Stay by my side today Stick with me and you'll be safe from any harm A wolf is prowling round these hills He's a dangerous animal don't you believe his tricky tales? He'll eat you if he can. But one sheep had her own ideas, wouldn't listen like the rest. She didn't believe the shepherd's words and thought that she knew best. He only wants smile and fun, boss us around, make us for small. He doesn't want to let us eat the tastiest grass of all. Tastiest grass of all I am You see how lush and green The finest grazing ever seen Come to dinner Come with me and wander free To eat until your belly's full That shepherd doesn't care for you He only wants you for your wool And while the old wolf lured the sheep away with talks of tasty treats, the shepherd led the flocks back home to camp them one by one is missing. Where is she? The shepherd's poor heart fell. The naughtiest sheep of all was gone, but where he could tell. He left the other 99, ran over fields and stony ground. To search through rain and hail and snow. At last he found the little sheep, oh no! A tasty little dinner, there she was. The wolf was beaten, off he ran, whimpering in pain. But do take care, oh please be aware, for he'll be back again. The little sheep was so relieved, the shepherd held her in his arms. She saw how foolish she had been before She saw how the shepherd loved his sheep How could she ever doubt? And she was sure his love was pure How could she do without? The shepherd threw a party They danced the whole night long Celebrating that the little sheep was found Celebrating that the little sheep was found Oh yes! Oh, oh. That was Did you like the song? Oh, uh, Did you like it Leopold? Yes, I loved it! And you Renata? Yes! And did you like it Tim? Tim! Tim? 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 Tim. Where are you? Where did he go? Look, it's a letter! My dear friends, I've decided, decided to, to leave this house. house. There's, There's no, no room, room here for an insignificant little creature like me. First my bed was ruined, not once but twice, and then you wouldn't even let me open the music box. The best thing for everyone is for me to go far away from here. I'm, I'm going, going to, to live, live in, in the park. park. Goodbye, Goodbye forever. forever. Signed Timothy. Timothy. Not the park. There's a big old cat in the park. Let's find the cat. Yes. The cat. I have to go and find him. You will stay here. But we, but want, we to want to help you find him. No, it's much too cold. You stay here and pray for him. Come on, we have to go and pray. Come on, come on. Mary, you're the mother of Jesus, so please help Father John yes, find please. Timothy. And don't let anything happen to him. Yes. And don't let that cat find him. And if that cat does yeah. find him and tries to eat him, then make that bad old cat have a coffee fit or make his whiskers freeze up or turn his tail in. Please, Mary, 
I promise I'll be much more careful around him and I'll never spoil his house yes, again. Yes, yes, yeah, we'll be a lot more careful, yes. And we want you to protect him and bring him safely home. Oh, yes, yes. oh no, please yes, help please. us. Oh. Hello, everyone. Timothy. Timothy. Oh, I'm so glad you're back. Let me give you a kiss. There was a cat. Oh, Timothy, I'm so sorry. I'll never spoil your house again. Yes, I promise I'll always let you open the music box. You'll be the official music box opener. And I'll let you play with my toys. Really? Yes, yes we, promise. we promise. That's really kind of you. I think I made a mistake. Oh, poor Timothy, you're shivering. Oh, Father John, you must be breathing. Don't worry. Now, once there was a saint... Oh! ...who really did get cold when he went to find a lost sheep. The name of this saint was... ...Saint Ignatius of Lodjola. Oh! Oh! Saint Ignatius! This saint's name was Ignatius, and he came from a city called Loyola. And so he is known as Saint Ignatius of Loyola. When he was a young man, he was a lost sheep himself, until he was badly wounded and had to spend a long time recovering in bed. When he was sick, he got very bored and started to read the only books that were in the house, which were books about the lives of the saints and the life of Jesus. It changed his life. At last, he could hear what God wanted him to do to become a great saint. He went to study in Paris, and he was close friends with one of the other students. St. Ignatius had a lot of money with him to pay for his studies. It was such a lot of money, he asked his friend to keep it safe for him. But his friend, instead of keeping it safe, disappeared with it, leaving St. Ignatius without a penny. Ignatius was thrown out of his house and had to beg for food on the streets. Months later, his friend sent a message to him begging him for help because he was sick in a town far away. Forgiving his friend for the suffering he had caused, Ignatius went to his aid. He walked more than a hundred miles in bare feet, in the cold and did not eat or drink, doing penance so the sinner would be converted. He was able to comfort his friend and helped him find a ship that would take him home again. Saint Ignatius became a very important man and gave new direction to the church in his own time. So what do you think about St. Ignatius of Lodjola? Very, Very good. good! He cared so much to walk that far. Yay. He did the same as the Good Shepherd, oh. in order to find oh. the lost sheep. That's true, wow! Well, why don't we celebrate now that Timothy's back with us? Yes, let's have a party! Timothy! 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 Timothy, Timothy. where are you? Here he is. He wants to make his house inside the stove. But Timothy... Don't you see when we light the stove, your house will be burned? But I need a place to stay. Hmm, we're going to find you a place. Let's see. You are a mouse. And mice live in... Holes. Holes. That's right. I know the perfect place for you. What do you think, Tim? Let me see. What do you think? Do you like your new house? Yes, I like it very much. Oh, oh very, very good. good. Look at all this. And wait, there's a sheep too. A sheep? Yeah. Wow, Look. a sheep. Ah. And is there anything else with this sheep? Yes, there's a lady. A lady? It's the Divine Shepherdess. Oh, wow. she's beautiful. The Divine Shepherdess is the Virgin Mary. She is Jesus' mother, and because she helps Jesus to find lost sheep, she is called the Divine Shepherdess. Oh, she's so beautiful. And now, let's celebrate Timothy yes. being back among us. Come on. There was a ship. Summer sun. A 
hundred sheep the shepherd had, to you they'd look the same. But he could tell them all apart by name. <laughs> Oh, that. 